Welcome everybody. Today we're going to play Hack from, I believe this was 1983 for MS-DOS. Who am I? Well, I'm Alex. All right, shall I pick a character for you? You know what? Go ahead and pick something out. I'll be a fighter. This is a roguelike from way back in the day, and unlike uh, Moria, which we played last time, this one I would probably recommend that you skip just because uh, it evolved into NetHack, which is a very, very similar game with more quality of life. However, my dad had this. I tried it once as a kid and passed on it because of the controls, and I wanted to revisit it. So one of the things about this game is that the uh, right out of the box... Uh, it doesn't have the arrow key controls that Rogue has. So what you got to do is hold shift, capital O. What options do you want to set? Well, I want to set IBM BIOS. And in doing that, now they're, they're open. Oh, man, this is a rough start. Fighting a kobold. Kobold is killed. All right, so now I can use the arrow keys. I didn't know that as a kid. So what ended up happening is um, I tried to use the awkward controls uh, that are by default, and I just couldn't get used to it, and I ended up passing, which really sucks because that was pre-internet, okay? Uh, so it was very difficult for me to get new games, and this is a game that if you can get past that, there's a, a, at least when compared to the original Rogue, they added a lot of really good stuff here. Like you can see, if you're not familiar with NetHack, the little lowercase d, that's my dog. I have a dog, and that is awesome so uh in my inventory i'm gonna cast d what do i want to drop i want to drop a dead cobalt so i'm gonna drop the cobalt and my dog if he's hungry is gonna eat it which i think is awesome what else am i gonna drop i'm gonna drop the dead acid blob all right and now we're gonna look around what is this a food ration sweet okay um another thing that I think makes this game different from NetHack is that in NetHack uh, you still have the dog but when you walk into the dog you swap places with it and that way it stops it from uh, getting in the way whereas in this game if you try and walk into the dog um, you attack him or at least you attempt to which is a big pain what do I want to drop want to drop the dead lizard capital D Is it a no I needed that oh that drops everything that's not good <laughs> oh well I'll hold on to the lizard for a while <laughs> all right so this is another this is a game that does weird things when it comes to level generation acid blob let's fight so when the dog gets in my way, I have to press the period button. And that will make it so that I can wait for a while. I believe this is down. Yeah, okay. So now we get a level two. Another thing that's cool about this game is, unlike the original Rogue, um, three, it looks like I'm going to die here. You die, yeah. Unlike the original Rogue, you can actually go backwards, which is cool. Um, if you leave, if, if you go upwards when you're on the first level, then you just exit the dungeon, and then guess what? You made it out, <laughs> which I think is neat. All right, let's look at what you can do uh, for character creation. This time, shall I pick a character for you? No, I'm going to pick it myself. What kind of character, uh, tell me what kind of character you are. Tourist, spy, you know what? I haven't, like I looked at the, the manual a little bit, but I don't really know what the difference is. I'm going to play tourist. So let's try. Oh, and I have to set IBM BIOS again to enable arrow keys. And you can see right there that uh, bracket, that's the stairs out. And I am not finding... Apparently that little corridor doesn't go anywhere, so let's do some searching along the south wall. No, don't attack the dog. North wall, maybe? 
Come on, don't attack the dog. It's just a dog. Leave the dog alone. Search, 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 search. Is there really no way out of here? There we go. I can move again. All right. Caught in a bear trap. Yeah, so when I first played this, it was on my dad's computer. My dad had... Well, the family computer was an IBM 386 machine that my dad had running for oh, well over a decade. It's weird to think of a computer lasting that long now. But um, he also had a, a luggable, uh, and I don't know what the specs on that were. It was not a 386 carrying too much to pass through. Okay. And he outgrew the luggable and it just kind of sat in the basement. So I adopted it and I would play the games that I could find on disc. So again, pre-internet, um, my dad also had a large uh, disc cabinet with all sorts of things, magazines, games he could come across, uh, just oddities, you know, the stuff you'd find like on the average hard drive of like a DOS enthusiast now, he had all that on a single, uh, like a, in, in a single like cabinet. So I would just search through each disc methodically trying to find games. And at one point I found hack, it was there, but I, 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 did, I couldn't get into it because I didn't know how to fix the arrow keys and that left me using weird controls and just, I don't know. I feel like, um, I feel like I missed out. No, don't quit. Quaff. What do I want to drink? Uh, no, don't quit. Quaff. What do I want to drink? Let's drink an orange potion. See what it does. I feel much better. Good. What else do I want to drink? Let's drink the smoky potion. See what it does. More experienced. Level two. Nice. Um, I got some food. I got some darts. Let's eat the pear. Eat. What do I want to eat? I want to eat the pear. The pear was delicious. Now the question is, is that enough for me to be able to get through here? I'm carrying too much to get. That sucks, man. What if I say, there we go. I just had to search for a little bit. Oh, I'm getting beat up by the gnome now. Nine, seven. I lived. All right. No, don't attack the dog. I never want to attack the dog. Just give the dog a minute to get out of the way. He's a good dog. No, kobold. All right. What do I want to drink? I want to drink a potion of extra healing. Boom. That got me to 18. That should be enough to fight the kobold, and it was. Great. Now let's go out here. And this is the part where the dog is awesome. Um, he can protect you while you nap. When you play the original rogue and you're trying to heal up, a lot of times... You know, monsters will just pop up out of nowhere. And that'll be that. And that really sucks. <laughs> but the uh, presence of the dog was a really good way to mitigate that. A dead gnome. Inventory, where's the dead gnome? The dead gnome is J. So we're going to capital D for drop and J for dead gnome. What? Oh, well. The drop mechanics are a little weird. I think there's something I'm not getting about how it works. Because, again, I played this game some over the last couple days just to try and get the hang of it, like for this video, because I wanted to try it. But hmm. it has its issues that were fixed uh, in later games. Oh, shoot. No, he's here. Okay, little dog misses the giant rat. Yay, got him. All right, now this imp's going to kill me. It misses. What do I have? No, don't quit. I don't have anything I can drink. Giant rat is killed. 
All right, maybe we can go upstairs. Yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to heal up. We'll just chill here for a bit. And we're hungry, but that's fine because I've got food. Oh, oh, dear. All right, what do I want to eat? Okay, finish eating the food ration. Now let's heal. Nope. Can we heal? Can we please heal? I think that's going to be enough. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no, we cannot. We can die. And that's hack. Uh, it took me a while to find it. I had to look at some abandoned ware sites, but it is around. I would suggest going directly to NetHack. Thanks for watching.